Why, hello there. Today we're going to be going doing some geocaching. We're at the recreational trail. We're going to be biking and stopping a lot because there are lots of geocaches on this. Our goal is going to be to get, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe. We're going to head this way and see what we got. Found one already. We didn't even start. The trail's right over there. And we got one. We made it to our next one already. So this is Hero's Cache, and it's right at the mile marker 4.5. It was right at the bottom there. So as I'm riding past here, I'm like, oh, that would be a good place for one, and then my phone vibrates. There's a milk can right here. Check that out. There it is, there it is. That was Molly's cash. On to the next one. This one says it's magnetic. We have some little wildlife friends. Hello, buddy. Aww. So the trail is right over there. It says it's a preformed tree hanger is the hint, but it's actually laying on the ground back there. Oh, they were tricking me, tricking me. So we're now doing Victor's cache. This one's a magnetic sign and as you can see, there's no signs that way. Only one sign here, right above the bug, right there. So Victor's cache needs a little help. The container was missing. It was just the paper and the log was full. So we did not sign that one, but we did find it. It was in the sign. It wasn't magnetic, but it was there. About 500 feet this way. That seems to be the theme is about 500 feet. Every 500 feet, one tenth of a mile, roughly. Roughly. Can you hear that? Now they're being quiet. Oh, there's goats back there behind me. This one's a preformed tree hanger. This is Harvey's cat. The bug thinks she found it. There you go, you found it. Another one that says tree hanger that's not hanging. Way down to the back. Oh, there's a spider on you. Cool. That one was the most difficult so far. Took a few minutes to find that one, but the bug found it. It wasn't hanging again. I don't know if I can trust these preformed tree hangers. Next up is Rolls Cache. Navigate. Look at that, 500 feet. We found it. That one's pretty cool. It's a fake rock. It's a fake rock. I thought for sure it was gonna be in this little hole over here. There's a perfect spot right there in that little hole, but no, no, they tried to trick me. Rock on, <laughs> should have been rock in. Unfortunately, this little rock has seen better days. There is, there is a hole through it. Ah! Oh dear, telling me not to lose it. The bug wanted some clarification. The rock in joke was hers. It was her dad joke, not mine. Thank you. You're welcome. I can see it. Can you see it? The bug's starting to get into it now. She's climbing down to grab it. It's a geo pile. Next up is Toby's cache. 
and it's a little over 500 feet that way. Imagine that. All right, so Toby's cache says it's a preformed tree hanger. We have yet to find one that's actually a preformed tree hanger. Oh, oh, that one's hanging. That one was in the tree. Multi trunk. Attack. Nice easy one, right where you think it'd be. This little, this little tree stump trunk. It's a stump trunk, bug. Side note, the nice little like macadam trail we were on has turned into just rocks. Still a nice trail, but a little bit bumpier. Vinny's cache says that it's in the wall behind some slate. Here's the wall, and it is in fact a slate wall. The question is, where's the cache? Ah. <laughs> Clever girl. I was so excited that one had a pen in it, but it didn't work. I'd use my own anyway. Give him pen. Darn. Oh, 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 bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Oh, oh my goodness. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. This is difficult. I'm holding a phone and a camera. Oh, probably not the smartest idea. This one says be careful of barbed wire. It's not very family friendly. The tree swallowed it. Yummy. And then regurgitated it. All right, that makes number 13. So we're gonna go for two more. So that'll be a total of 15. And I would say that is quite successful. That's a, that's a nice little grab for, uh, we've been going at it for maybe like an hour, maybe. I don't know, I haven't really been paying attention to time. It could have been longer than that. Oh, power lines. It was just really sunny there. It was kind of hot. Whew. Off to Alex's cache. I think I figured out TP in the hint is abandoned telephone pole. It's disguised as a tree. It's trying to partake in what it once was. So I've just been staring at this telephone pole, this old telephone pole for a while, and it is tiny, tiny, tiny. Right there. We couldn't get the log out of this one, but right here's the proof. It's in my hand. We will now return you to your little home. Be safe, little geocache. Be safe. All right, we've made it to the location of our final one for this journey. This is Gina's cache. We got some water we're dealing with here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ta-da! Gina's cache. Where'd it go in? Oh. It's magnetic. It sticks to the whole thing. Okay. And that is it. That is gonna be all for today's geocaching adventure. Pretty successful. That was 15 if I cor if I counted correctly. That was 15. Pretty sure it was 15. The bug's running away from me. We're just gonna kind of cruise now because we've been stop, stop, stop. About every 500 feet we had to stop. So now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the bike ride until the next one. Be good, have fun, and learn something. This little board here kind of explains some of the historic Plainfield Township sites. Interesting little fact. This cemetery right here is where I got my very first geocache. It was, a, it was the Munsters cache set. That cemetery right there. <laughs> Check it out.